Here in the south of England, behind these beach huts, is a very weird and wonderful floating houseboat village. Well, sometimes it floats and other times it sits on mud because of the tide, but that doesn't matter right now. So without further ado, let's roll the title card. Welcome to the houseboat community in which I reside. My name is Hamish Mackenzie and I look on myself as a boat renovator. This community of houseboats is about 50 strong. I can safely say that there's no two identical. To a large degree, they exhibit the character of the people who live on them. So let's get to know Hamish. He has seven boats. He has a microwave as a post box. He can do this with a saw. He has a grand collection of... Let's leave that there. Hamish moved here 32 years ago after falling on tough times. I found myself homeless and chatting to a friend about this, sat and the other, and we got chatting about boats. And this place popped into my mind and three weeks later I was living here. I'd bought my first boat, managed to move here down here for pennies. This is Verda, this is the boat I live on. That's based on a tube train. This is an old ambulance, an old coach and nose cone off a jumbo jet. Where on earth do you get a nose cone from a jumbo jet? In a uh, farmyard, not far from here. I've been after a nose cone for a while. <laughs> Fair enough. I do think it's a particularly free lifestyle just because I can build it and design what I like. I don't have building regs. I don't have planning permission. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why on earth is there a bus or a scrap car on a boat? I just want to know what it's going to look like. It's a, it's a sort of fun idea, I'll go for it. <laughs> Tractor wheels make perfect windows. But you think all these ideas are gelling in your brain. I don't really draw anything, I, it's all up here. I use second hand materials because I think there's life in inanimate objects. They've lived one life and you're just changing the purpose by becoming a house boat, reusing stuff and giving it a second life. It's just generating its own energy. And this was a speedboat. The spaces you create using different shapes, that's when they start becoming fun. A lot of it starts designing itself after a while because these things fit together quite nicely. And uh, I could build Whatever I could imagine, the only constraint on my building style was my own ability. 